Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. In the last episode, you saw that the ceiling tiles came down in the kitchen and I was starting to plan out the new cooker unit that I was going to be putting in place. I needed to build up the cupboards and make space for it to go so that all of the electrics could be fitted in place. I also gave my bedroom a refresh because I was going to be starting back in work and wanted a nice place to wake up to. So let me show you what I've been up to over the last few weeks. The electrics are all sorted now in the kitchen, so that is everything built up with the worktop and the cooker on. My new oven arrived this morning, so I need to get that shelf fitted today and get that put in. So I was thinking that I could get away with just painting this wall, but after going around and taking out all the wall plugs and stuff, the wall started crumbling, so I'm going to go back to the original plan of putting lining paper up and painting it. So I'm going to be doing a tiled splashback on the back of here so I don't want paper all the way over the wall because I don't think that the tiles will stick to the wallpaper or at least they're, they're more likely to come off. So I'm just going to mark out roughly whereabouts the splashback's going to be and sort of like paper around that so that the tiles can stick to the wall. So I've got the cupboard doors on. <coughs> I was... I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do about the handles because obviously the other cupboards are handleless so I've just got like white plain cheap doors from B&Q so I've got a couple of different handles that I could use but what I'm thinking to try and make it all tie in a little bit better is pick up some handleless handles or so something that kind of fits all the the top of the door that I can then just pull out so that it's hidden and you can't really see it. Kind of like the handles that come on the IKEA Pax wardrobes that have got like the little gripper on. So I'm going to keep my eye out for something that I can use instead of putting handles on so that it doesn't stand out too much as being different. Um, so the worktop from IKEA is a different thickness but I've adjusted the height so that it's the same height as these. So I think this was like 3.8 centimetres and that was 2.8, I think. Um, but once it's all covered, it will match absolutely fine. So because this is my last week off work, um, yesterday I obviously got all of the bonding done on the walls from where sockets were and things and then I also like the there were tiles here so I'd pulled all of those off and then with some bonding just filled that in it's messy but the, the washing machine is going to cover that anyway but I just wanted to get it kind of tidier so that can be painted over and it's not like exposed brick or the old tiles going to be seen so that's going to be fine how it is so because it's my last week off work, I've made a plan of what I'm going to be doing. So it's Monday yesterday, so I got all of the bonding done. So I've already sanded the walls today. I'm going to do the lining paper, fit the oven and paint the woodwork. But I've got a load of stuff in my car that I need to take to the tip. I've got things to pick up from screw fix. And I need to also go and pick up some white satin for the woodwork. So I'll do the woodwork tonight. And then the plan is tomorrow to spray the worktop joint. I'm not going to buy a new one. I'm going to use the old one, which is a black one. I'm going to spray paint it white, um, paint the walls, and I'm going to go and pick up the flooring from B&Q and take a look at the tiles as well. And then on Thursday, I'm going to get the flooring down. So I'd actually had... Um, the plaster have come round to price up for the living room over the weekend and I've asked him to give me a price for sorting this out as well because I don't think I'm going to get time to do it. So in an ideal world, the ceiling would have been plastered first before obviously doing painting and the flooring but because I'm short on time, I'm just going to do it and I'll have to clean up any mess that he makes afterwards. So I did say that I wanted this done as a priority over the living room so then I've at least got another room that's finished off. So time to crack on with the lining paper. I actually had a really productive day yesterday. 
So while the walls have been painted, there are a few damp patches coming through where I'd not let the plaster and the filler dry out properly, so that will need touching up. Same down here, but I can just finish that off afterwards. So I'm going to be working on the flooring today. So before I do this radiator, I need to be able to get the washing machine in place. So I'll do the flooring up to here and then I can get the washing machine in and then get that radiator sorted. I put a new radiator in the bathroom yesterday, um, but I'm not happy with the tightness of one of the thermostat tails, so I need to take that off and get that redone before I refill the central heating system. And I might actually replace the radiator in the hallway as well before I refill the system. I've picked up a piece of skirting board to put down here, so I'm going to get that put on first, then do the flooring, um, and then there's just another little bit here that I'll put skirting on as well, I think. I brought the saw into the back room just so that I'm not running in and out because the kittens will probably end up escaping. I've already trapped Jasper's paw in the door this morning, so I'm going to get them out of the way and just do my sawing in here. The floor is looking good. It's so much brighter in here now. It has made the absolute world of difference. So I've only done up to here so I can finish off doing that radiator tomorrow once I've got the washing machine in. So I just need to do the edging along there before I put the washer in. So I'm really, really pleased with how this is looking because I've got like shelf up as well so it's looking a lot more homely and I think tonight after I've eaten and watched Love Island I'm going to tile on here so I'm not going to show you anything else in here now because I'm going to save it for the kitchen makeover video so I'll get back to you in a few days once I've finished off doing what I can do in here and we'll move on to something else. So I actually decided that whilst I've got the central heating drain down, I'm going to replace the radiator in the hallway as well. So I'm just back from screw fix with the radiator. So I'm going to get on doing that now. I'm having a major nightmare with these walls crumbling so I really hope that these brackets are going to stay up. I've added in a couple of extra ones than what was supplied so hopefully once they're screwed in it will hold it. The radiators were a semi-success, so the bathroom one is not right. I couldn't get the tail out of basically, which is the thing that the valves connect to in the radiator. I couldn't get that out to put some more tape on it. So I thought, right, I'll just risk it. I'll start filling up the system and it was leaking. So I've... I'm going to have to leave that now until tomorrow to sort out because it's my first day at the new job tomorrow and I just need to get myself organised and sorted out but I'm really really pleased that the other two were absolutely fine. So there's the new hall one. I'm going to have to cut some new boards just because the piping's changed and refix these down but my radiator cover actually fits on here now. So that fits on, I just need to cut it to fit over the skirting board. So that's going to be nice in here once it's all decorated. That's where I've popped the one in the kitchen. I was a little bit worried about this one actually because you might be able to see that pipe's not quite straight. It's because there's brick underneath it but it's absolutely fine. Hello Jasper monkey. So I've taken the panels off this as well. It's really really dusty inside so I'm going to give that a clean before I put those back 
on. So after work tomorrow, I will sort out the bathroom radiator, fingers crossed anyway. Um, the only reason why I couldn't actually get it done today was because I needed another olive, which screw fix was shut, being q was shut, so it just wasn't going to happen today. So I'm off now to get tidied up and get prepared for my first day back at work. It's now Sunday, I've been in work for a week and I actually really enjoyed it, it was nice. But, um, I've not been as tired as I thought I would be so I have been able to do a little bit in the evenings here and there. So I've got the radiator in the bathroom sorted out. I actually had to go and buy another tool to get the tail out of the radiator to put some more PTFE tape on that. So that's all sorted in there now. The central heating is working absolutely fine. On Friday the electrician from the boiler company came back. My mum was here and I'd given her strict instructions of what needed to be done. Um, but I'm a little bit disappointed with where the controls have been put. Um, I just didn't expect them to go here. The slightly un not underneath the boiler and then I'm assuming that's obviously in case there's a leak. So I think that's a little bit annoying because I could have put a cover over it but it's literally like right in between the cupboard and the boiler. So and he also had to put on a surface mount socket because he said that there was a piece of wood behind it so he couldn't get it sunk into the wall. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I also had to do some fans. So fans been put in the pantry because I said I didn't want anything else drilling in the kitchen. That's up there now which looks a little bit messy. I did expect that there would be trunking but I'll just paint it like I did with the other side. But I don't know whether to maybe just put a little bit of trunk in myself on that wiring. It's a little bit messy in the bathroom as well, but once that changes into a bedroom, that's going to get taken out anyway, so I'm not too fussed about that one. So we are in the midst of a heat wave, and I was hoping that I was going to get a video out today, but it was just too hot for me to get a great deal done yesterday. So I've been carrying on in the kitchen. I'm not showing you the kitchen because that's going to be a whole video in itself i've got the plasterer booked to come and do the kitchen ceiling next weekend so i'm really really looking forward to that so that following week hopefully midweek i will be able to get the ceiling painted in there and that's going to be it pretty much finished off probably going to do the tiling in there midweek after work as well so the kitchen is going to be coming very very soon and it is looking really good i'm surprised actually how good it's looking and I think I'm going to be really, really happy with it. The kitchen ceiling's plastered. I am so pleased that all of that mess is now covered up. So um, the plasterer did a good job, I think. He did say he wasn't really happy with it because as he was doing it, there was obviously bits flaking off. So he said he's not sure whether it's going to stay up, basically. Um, I think it will. He had to patch up a few places, so he did say it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than I could have done. Um, so he worked really hard on that, so we've said to give it a week to dry out. I'd actually last night moved over the ceiling light because it wasn't in the centre of the room, so I just drilled through, moved the cable over and just repositioned the light, which looks pretty central now I would say. I'm really looking forward to getting round to getting in here painted because it's going to look pretty good I think um, for not a brand new kitchen I'm, I think I'm going to be happy with how it turned out though we did have a bit of a blip this week in here. I came home from work one day and there was a puddle of water on the floor and I think what had happened was that Alicia had had a shower and I've currently got a hair catcher in the shower and it takes a lot longer for the water to drain out so I don't know whether as she was getting out she'd splashed the water or it was overflowing out of the bottom. I have no idea but there was a puddle of water on the kitchen floor which had probably been there for maybe an hour or two before I got back. So I think it's damaged, well it has kind of damaged some of the laminate that I've put down so I'm going to have to pull it up and replace a couple of the boards but I would rather do that 
than have it in a couple of months time where it's warped right in the middle of the kitchen so it's i think here where i can feel it anyway where it seems to have lifted a little bit higher than the rest of it so i think to be on the safe side i'm going to replace this one this one this one and this one so as it is in the middle of the floor which is just typical i am going to have to pull up what i've done but luckily i hadn't gone around doing like the edging or anything so it's easy enough to pull up i don't have to mess about measuring again i can just cut the new pieces to the same size as the old ones and as long as I lay them out in the position that they were, it should be pretty straightforward to find out where it was that they went. So, not really what I wanted to be doing, but never mind. Whilst the plasterer was here, I've actually got quite a lot of sorting out done, which I haven't filmed because I didn't actually expect to be so productive today. So I've done lots of sorting out outside, but I was also clearing out in the living room and I've literally got a car full of stuff to go to the tip. So this is how the living room's looking at the moment. I've actually got the wood burner booked in for the first week in August. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. The plasterer has said he's going to come and do the whole room after the wood burner's been installed. So I'm going to take off this extra layer of plasterboard that's up and he's going to skim on top of the old stuff. There's still some bonding that I'm going to do to patch up where the sockets were. And to be honest, I'm still tossing up the idea of putting the TV above the fire. You're all probably going to shout at me for that, but my plan was that in the months that the fire isn't getting used, the TV can be on the wall, and then in the winter I can take the TV off the wall, put it somewhere else. I think it's just how I'd prefer to do it. I haven't made my final decision on it yet, but I think that's what I would like to do. So I'm trying to think what else has been going on. You might remember that there was a big UPVC window that was in the lean-to outhouse storage shed. I got rid of that today, I'd sold it. I got £100 for that, so that can go towards the plastering, which is good. And I've got so much more space in there now, so one thing that I've been doing today is getting organised, so I'll just show you what I've done. So this is where the huge window was, which was taking up loads of space, and then I had like these chairs here, so I had no room in here whatsoever. So these are my dining table chairs. These are in here because I've got the table in the other outhouse so I've put a shelf up my mum's got a lot of stuff that needs storing so I figured if I put that up here I can store some of her things up there but I've used some of these that my mum had picked up for me I think she got them from Poundland for a pound probably and they're these really handy little hooks Oops. I'll just pop stuff on so I've got one of the sets of ladders up there against the wall so it's not falling over. I've got all of the paint and painting stuff in here and then this little cupboard's got some roller trays and some other paint. A really random picture. Obviously I didn't put that up. <laughs> So yeah, that's so much better in here now and I can start moving a few other things. I've just got like my easy reach shelf of weed killers, bug sprays, plant food, tools for the garden and stuff like that. So, so much better than it was before. And I've, it never looks tidy in here, but this is actually really tidy compared to how it was. So I've been sorting out that cupboard there so that I can I, I really need to get everything where I can easily find it um the washing machine's out of here now because that's in the kitchen so I think what I'm going to do here is take this bit out and maybe put some more shelves up around here and move the garden stuff over there which is currently 
in that back corner which stops me from opening that cupboard um but yeah i need to get a lot of stuff put in the loft because i've still not put anything up there yet so i've got like the christmas decorations decor bits that i want to keep that i might end up using again so probably one night this week i'll end up going up there with some stuff which will make a lot more room in here i'm planning on doing a garden update video to show you everything that's going on in the garden it's a bit of a mess at the minute because i've got some stuff out and all of the weeds were coming back through the block paving so I had to jet wash that last weekend and I started doing the sand in between so I need to finish that off, I'll probably do that tomorrow. So it might be a couple of weeks before that video comes up but there's going to be quite a lot going on now over the next couple of weeks with things starting off in the living room. I'm so excited to get that fire installed, it's going to look so so nice. I've already got my paint and wallpaper for in there but I've actually kind of changed my mind on the wallpaper. I think there's another sample that I want to go and get so in the next vlog I'll show you what it is that I'm planning on doing in the living room. So thank you very much to everyone that's been asking how work's been. It's been absolutely fine. It's been so nice speaking to real people. Not that I don't like speaking to you guys, but to actually be talking to a person instead of a camera has been quite a novelty. So it has been really enjoyable being back in the office and being around people again. I've been sleeping fine, getting up, and because that is one thing that I was worried about because I am a bit of a night owl, so I've been getting in on time and things. So yeah, it's all been good. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. I'm so